Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. This is going to be a love reading. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Not every reading will resonate with everyone, and that is okay. I've already pulled some cards here. We're going to get right into it. I wish I was a part of your life. I feel so left out here. Someone feels like they're left out of your life. I feel like nothing I say will be good enough to get you back. I know you don't trust me anymore. <laughs> yes. And then we got, I really acted out of character that wasn't the real me here. So whatever they did, because coming out of the, I really acted out of character and that wasn't the real me here. We got the Sia song, Thick Skin and Elastic Heart. Um, I got thick skin and elastic heart, but your blade, it might be too sharp. Okay, so whatever they did was very much too unforgivable to you to the point where I guess you've moved on. And with the black pill here, they could have been totally just like careless with your feelings and your emotion. The black pill is almost giving like insult, kind of like sadistic, like, you know, they were like that a part of maybe even the wrong group of people that kind of was dedicated to tearing people down here. I feel like some of these people could have, um, maybe grown grown up maybe fallen in love they got to be like dedicated to their kids and stuff now so this person is like lonely searching for more like out for more fun and stuff this person could even have a kid too i impregnate your mind let's have a baby without fn um somebody here might try to come in and basically uh, to get back in with you, they're gonna say, it's not about you know sleeping together. We don't have to sleep together. I just wanna talk. I just wanna blah, 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 blah. This person wants to see if you're going to let them back in. Like, you know, if you actually need closure here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you don't even need or crave closure here. This person might be having their own sort of regrets. I've got thick skin and hair. We're going to pull some of the love cards here. Please tell me more. Hair, hair, hair. We got adventure. Seek adventure together. It adds excitement to your journey. I feel like some of you guys are going to be in a more adventurous relationship or this person wishes that they sought more adventure to you. They feel adventure with you. They feel like you would have bonded with them more and that would have made the relationship like, you know, more that you would have had a reason to come back with them uh, with the seek adventure here, seek adventure together. Yeah, okay. Or some of you guys might be trying to spice up your current relationship. You might be seeking adventure. Some of you guys might be trying to think of like ways to spice up your life in the bedroom. Some of you guys might be thinking of adding in a third. That's for a very select few of you guys out there. Spirit, please tell me more. As long as everybody's consensual adults, it's nothing wrong with it. It's crazy because they were saying that about uh, some comedian, they're like, what's wrong with Diddy? You know, it's is it a crime to be, you know, freaky? And then people were like, well, no, but, uh, you know, as long as it's consensual, the unconsensual part, spirit, please tell me more, and lots of other things that went on as, you know, gifts. Let's, love's greatest gift is the ability to truly understand one another. I feel like some of you guys are attracting in a new mate where you guys truly understand one another. Somebody could have tried to black block this off. In a previous love reading, I did get love spell and I kept saying something about, I don't know, I don't know, some sort of herb. I think it was called elm something. I don't know. Spirit, please tell me more. But I, I'm sure you guys could look into um, things to unblock your sacral chakra or, you know, like your uh, remove love spells, wedding, taking your relationship to the next level one step at a time here. So 
somebody might be looking at you like they think you're wifey material. Somebody might like that you stay out of the mix with other people. Maybe you don't really like, you know, mingle as much as they know other people did, or there's something about you just different. So this person almost feel like they kind of want to low key keep you to your, their cells, but also they don't want to um, force you to do anything. But this is funny because we got wedding coming out. Maybe some of you guys will be getting married soon. I don't think anybody's going to be able to block this wedding. I feel like some of you guys are going to have something very special together. I also feel like there could be someone who uh, got married to someone who they felt like could have been like somewhat ideal, but with the black pill hair, they could have gotten to some married to someone who was maybe a bit more innocent, a bit more virginal, a bit more, you know, something different than you. And this person could be like, I don't know, regretting it. Spirit, please. Tell oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I had a bunch of cards flip over. What were you trying to say? Oh gosh, now I'm confused. Confused. Which way was up? Which way were down? Oh. Oh gosh. We got window. A new adventure in love is coming. Get ready. Some of you guys have a new adventure in love or your current life. Yeah, new adventure. So some of you guys who have been in a relationship, this person might be thinking of taking the next step towards you to try to propose to you. Like I said, there's just a little bit of negative energy coming out with those cars here. But I feel like I said, it's just, you might just feel this energy slightly on you. Some of you guys just went ahead and blocked this person. Maybe at some point you would have wanted this person to see you happy and get married and stuff like that. But you don't even care about that. You don't care to let them know what type of life you're living. It's a total loss of interest. But yeah, if you're, it's a new window of love. For those of you guys who are dating someone right now, they might be thinking of a wedding. Next card we got out is connection. Love is a bridge connecting souls. Cherish the connections. Okay, I feel like somebody is, cherishes the connection that they have with you. Somebody might be trying to build a stronger connection with you here these are all good cards too it's funny spirit please tell me more twin flame uh trust the magnetic pull of your twin flame it will guide you towards them i feel like twin flame has been coming out in like a few decks lately a few piles here some of you guys might have made a soul connection some of you guys have a lot in common with your person Maybe you guys have like the same birthday, the same birth year, the same sign. You guys might be the same signs. Um, let's get some signs here. Let's pull some signs. Let's use the tarot cards for signs. I'm glad I got the tarot card. Excuse my remote. Spirit, please tell me some signs involved in this uh, reading. Please tell me some signs involved in this reading. We got delayed catastrophe. We got the tower coming out in reverse, which is Scorpio and Mars. Some of you guys could be Scorpios. We got Aquarius and Venus. And this is the um, five of swords, conflict, battles, fights, aggression, intimidation, competition, hostility, and defeat. I feel like this new person kind of defeated the competition easily. Like this new person may fulfill you in a lot of different ways, mentally, emotionally. You know, I feel like some of you guys don't really um, need other people unless, you know, you're into that. We got also Taurus coming out here. Um, somebody could be mad they didn't see the long-term vision with you they kind of wish that they stayed through and saw some uh saw things through with pay in patience limited success unfinished work here some of these people you could have been involved in working with this person or building with this person maybe you guys shared a home a place or something at some time at some point in time this person could keep running into people who want to go um, 
who some of you guys could have paid for the place and let them stay with you. And this person is running into people who expect everything to be paid for people who don't want to go 50, 50. They want like a hundred spirit. Please tell me more people who are trying to use and discard them here. Somebody also, for some people in this collective, somebody could have tried to make you fall in love fast or somebody is, you know, they could be almost offended by your lack of um, desperation to fall in love. Rapid changes, gaining momentum, fruits of labor, movement, quick action, air travel, excitement. And this is coming out under Sagittarius hair. So some of you guys also might be traveling with your person. That could be the adventure that you're going on. Some of you guys might be thinking of going, taking a vacation to a new country or something, exploring something new with your person to, I don't know, I guess like make things bring back the spark hair or some of you guys might be thinking of having a wedding over in another country those of you guys who are getting married but you guys might be thinking about um how you can get all your people there maybe some of you guys are ballers shot callers like that spirit please tell me more or maybe somebody's in-law with the gift hair might be trying uh thinking of gifting you something like that maybe somebody's parents want to pay for your wedding or they want to pay for your house pay for your baby shower gift you something here this could be your lover's family for those of you guys who have a lovers like that or maybe that happened in the past but this is like, this seems like good things because I feel like not only is this person going to like you, their family and friends are going to like you, even though they are seemingly surprisingly different from you. So, you know, expect a lot of in poor love, not just from them, but the people around them here because they like how you make their loved one feel. They like the side that you bring out to them. Some of these people might be pushing for grandbabies. They want somebody, they feel like you are the perfect, you know, person for their person here. I feel like, yeah, somebody comes from a really loving family, which might be a change from you because maybe some of you guys could have came uh, out of relationships with people where you didn't get along with their families. Their families were always trying to start stuff. I feel like this family is a family that likes to celebrate because this is another card that's staring at me this whole time. This celebrate today. Celebrate the love you share with those who matter the most. They like to celebrate their love a lot rather than just argue it out. A lot of these people, I feel like... Um, you're going to appreciate these people. Some of you guys are going to have to learn to, I guess, accept gratitude and gifts because some of you guys might be taken back from that. Somebody here, especially if you're used to handling things yourself, some of you guys don't make, don't feel like, you know, they're treating you like a charity case here, you know? Uh, some of these people, they just want to celebrate. They just want to gift you things. That's what they do to their loved ones. Big changes, seize the moment, tenacity, accomplishments, determination, ambitious. Like I said, seize the moment. Appreciate it here. Because even if they try to throw it in your face in the future, who cares? They're the one who gave it to you. Nobody's going to respect that. And I don't even feel like that's something going to happen. A lot of you guys are going to get the love that you you deserve I feel like with the person you deserve because you developed you put a lot into developing yourself and taking care of others oh yeah and that sees the moment is Capricorn so the signs we got are Sagittarius Capricorn Taurus Aquarius and Scorpio those could be your people's signs doesn't have to be or yours. Spirit, please tell me more. We got friendship. This connection is based on friendship. It may never develop into romance, 
I think that's kind of referring back to the beginning of the message where there was kind of energy that come in. We don't have to sleep together. I just want to congratulate you. I just see because we got the closure card here. It's like this person is not looking for closure. I feel like this person is looking to kind of open up. Not all connections are meant to be except closure here. Somebody could be having a hard time accepting closure or um, you've already accepted closure, you know, and uh, moved on here. Love may come with sacrifices. Evaluate what you're willing to give up. We got sacrifice here. Evaluate what you're willing to give up. Um, so I feel like some of you guys might be thinking of moving closer to your person. So you might be evaluating what you're literally willing to give up, like in your apartment. You're trying to maybe move in into their apartment. So you might be seeing... I don't know, some of you guys might be trying to have a yard sale, donate a bed. You might just be, I don't know, giving things away frantically. Some of you guys might be so excited um, to move in with your person. Spirit, please tell me more. I don't know why I was here in California. Um, high path. Love is beautiful. Love is a beautiful journey and you're on the right path. Spirit is saying you're making the right decision if you are deciding to do that. Um, you guys are going to, you're going to enjoy um, living in the area and the neighborhood you live in. I don't know why I'm seeing like Sacramento. Some of you guys, this might be a lesbian couple. Not everybody, of course, because people get mad when you mention, you that's not me. I'm like, hey, baby, this is a collective general energy reading. You want to book a personal reading with me? <laughs> Spirit, tell me more. Unseen, love can be blind. Ensure you're not overlooking red flags. Okay, so ensure you're not overlooking red flags. Somebody could be telling this person to make sure they're not looking over red flags before they come towards you. Because somebody here might be talking about you. They're like, my girl, my boo, my man, my hubby, my wifey and blah 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 this person i feel like doesn't care this person is like i don't care because if it happens they're like it happens because they're like what are you, what red flags the red flags that might lead to divorce they like people get divorced all the time and that's what's gonna happen like you know this person is like already accepted like that they don't have control over everything in the universe but they don't want to let it stop them from enjoying their love and their time for you right now. They want to commemorate this love. They want to remember being this in love with somebody. They feel like you're a unique person and they never loved someone like you before, never found anybody like you before. This might be what they're telling their parents and their mom to some of you guys because they're definitely ready to just have it with you. Some of you guys, you don't understand that you're this person's ideal, ideal. And they love of uh, some of you guys who have gone into the bedroom. They love the way you put it down in the bedroom. I feel like this person is like, and then their people can see this. They're like, oh, baby. They're just real. They're just protective. Some of them just don't want you to hurt their lover here. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Proposal, an offer or proposal in the near future that comes as a surprise. We got like marriage, we got proposal, we got gifts uh, here, you know. So I'm like an offer, proposal, the near future that comes as a surprise. Somebody might be, if not asking you to be their wife or their husband, but I uh, hey, their wife because I don't know you know whatever <laughs> they might be asking you to have a relationship with them they might be wanting you to um with with them or somebody might be proposing that they move in with you i feel like there's two energies that want somebody doesn't necessarily want to move in with you but somebody might work near where you live they might be trying to propose like hey can I come see you sometime after work? You know, like is, they want to know if it's okay for them to come by and make unannounced visits. 
but they know they're not going to be able to do that unless you guys have some sort of relationship. They see something here about this connection being convenient. So somebody might be will be like, hey, so you want to be my girl? Like, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, as spirit is to say with the going back to the beware of red flags and the unseen, I don't feel like this is necessarily like negative red flags about this person, but their relationship overall. Like, do you have enough of room in your apartment? Would you rather move to a bigger apartment and go half with this person? Do you guys, you know, like, you know, get along? Like, you know, this person's sleeping pattern, you know, do they snore? Do they, do you want them to, you know, you know, fix that before they come live with you? So all of these things that might cause problems when and if you're getting closer to someone, like I said, not necessarily moving in, some of these people might just want, you know, this could be like a key to my apartment type of situation where, you know, you could come over, you know, or you might work near them. They might be giving you a key. Some of you guys might already have a key, um, you know. Some of these people no longer want to live with like their roommates. Some of these people might got roommates of the same gender. They're tired of this. They want a more mature lifestyle, but there's something about somebody wanting to move in closer with you. Somebody wants to be cozy with you. They want to be like cuddled up with you, watching movies, you know, like they want to be able to play their video games in one room while you over watching. Um, Terror readings in the next room, <laughs> you know, or doing your nails, whatever you do, maybe, you know, well, this person likes your calm and your energy here. Spirit is just telling you to remember to be verbal and, you know, open and think about things, talk to this person, but also remember what's the worst that could happen. You know, if you don't want them there, tell them to leave. <laughs> just go, you know, I feel like you guys are both dependent on the divine so you guys won't drain each other by being overly dependent on one another spirit is just telling you to remember to be con considerate and communicative yeah i feel like that's it you guys um we got passion coming out keep the flame of passion alive it's the heartbeat of love so yeah keep the passion alive in this new love here all right. Um, and that means, you know, both feeding the flame, not smothering it, spending time apart. Don't lose yourself. That adds to the relationship. Be the one they fell in love with, you know, or better. Same thing to your lover here. But that's it, you guys. I hope you have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this reading. And hopefully I will see you next time.